Looking for Sarver. Sarver. He's been to five college cups and won it with you in 2012. It was in last year's final against Syracuse and the COVID year also played at Wake Med Soccer Park. Made it to the final against a Marshall team that I think the average eight won by Oduro. Sarver. Beebe's made a run. Henderlong taking a shot back on his right foot this time and is picked up there and didn't play. Bacharach using his body. A little flick from Henderlong. Sarver's down. Mahalik. Good close out there by Wayman and Mahalik was in. This was a beautiful combination by Indiana. Great flick on from Henderlong. Great little sneaky run from Mahalik. He does the hard part with this touch right here. The touch was the hard part. It was just getting the final touch of the finish in, which he clearly pushes. Oh, he did enough. He could have just snuck it almost right to the left-hand side of Wayman. So he opened up his hips just a little bit too much, but I've been very impressed. Sent it in with that left foot. Knocked down, Sarver. Sarver can slice, he can dice. Sent across and picked up by Wayman. Looked like Sarber just could have picked up his head. He did a great job getting in line. This, he's really good with his hips on just shimmying it right through. Maybe he was looking for Brett. Game time decision on whether it would be Sun or Weiss. Shot from distance and arms. Charges, we talked about this. Good hold up play. And if he just has the slightest bit of room, he's gonna let it go. Can't get over it enough, but we've seen him do this this year. Give this guy the slight. Weiss, who took a knock a couple games ago. Seven goals and seven assists to lead the Big Ten. And Weiss all really was close to getting his eighth assist right there. That was a really good ball. Instant impact. Jeez, tell me about it. Great. On the Offensive Player of the Year. And, and with Sarver getting hot as well, he's throwing his name into the middle of that. Little flick and a perfect flick. A wonderful throw in. What a weapon to have with the wind. And then the finish for Northwestern. Nigel Prince with his first goal for the Wildcats. That's your center back. And it's Northwestern one, Indiana zero. The long throw and the perfect backflip. Well, what's so funny about this is they had an opportunity to collect it earlier. They decided to take another long throw in, and this is the reason why. Absolutely perfectly drawn up play. Can't be executed better. Nigel Prince does a wonderful job of getting his body in front of the people. The foot is on the line, so it should be fine there. And it's just funny that Northwestern decided to elect to have the ball go out. I mean, put it in perspective for me, dudes, after we see this play here, Oduro, back rack, back rack, takes a rip. We do go behind them, but we're trying to get some guys out wide and some scoring positions coming on their dominant foot. So you'll see a little bit of change there just to see if we can get some shots from, you know, 25 out. Find the right club against Rutgers, and then Ula Malin did find the right club. This one popped in the air, little flick. Hoosiers trying to tie it early. Murador took a swing at it. Actually, the more I think about it, I think Wittenbrink found Mayer on the far post That's with the it. right club and then, then the Olympico. Sent back across and out of bounds. A little bit of a collision there. Weiss, who didn't start, has... Mahalik, who had that really good chance in the first half. Sarver. Let's go to the now to Barger. Barger sends it in with some velocity. Bacharach takes a rip at it, and it's going to be a corner kick. Corner kick, Indiana. Indiana. So it's a good ball in. 
Northwesterns are asking for the high kick. I'm not sure if I agree with that. I and mean, this is hard to tell. Is it looking at fans down in the corner behind Barger? Here Go. it comes, whipped around and side netting. Sarver. Good ball into space. Indiana, Mahalik on the far post. Mahalik headed away by Northwestern. Great track back by the Wildcats. That's Obeed with the clearance. Awesome job. Mayers, he's a big boy. He, he's got the great throw, I and mean, then he's got the ability to deny throw-ins. Like back rack was pulled down. Indiana fans who travel. Indiana is two and two in one zero games. Here's Henderlong. Henderlong. Carson Henderlong scored a ton of goals for Xavier. Lays it across. <laughs> Prince having himself big time game. McDonald keeps it on the ground and it's right to win. Good hands. Away, away. Far side headed down. Sarver. Sarver, quick release. Mazzara. Miller. Back in far post, but it's going to leak too far. It's going to drop it to Miller. Miller, good angled ball down near the end line. It'll be a corner kick, Indiana. Yeah, that's the type of stuff. That's just that's just really good movement between your center back and right back. Look at BB. Wonderful. What? McDonald. Back rack. Oh, far post. Ended up going off his foot. I feel like if you're gonna go back post, need And Northwestern knows that. Hey. We've done it now for 75 minutes. Can we do it for 15? Sarver pops it. Oh, that was really well taken to Henderlong. Henderlong just jumped us just a second too early. Yeah, timing just a little bit off, right? The time field. D back. Wonderful time that I had. Here we go. Indiana is in. Two players laying down for Northwestern. Prince. But you've seen Cami and McDonald. Plugette. Plugette. I think that may have gone off the. See where McCammy puts this, and then let's be ready for a. Yeah, Harms is going to want to get going. He wants that ball and he wants to release it. Let's see what Indiana can do with this flurry. They have been all over the Wildcats looking for it. That was Bezerra. And McCammy. That man knows how to clear a ball. There's one. Second one, the referee kind of gets in the way. He sent back the other way. Headed out of bounds, and how about the Northwestern Wildcats at home as that man right there with truly a special game, Nigel Prince. First goal of his career, solid defensively, and 10th win this season, most since 2013. Northwestern won, Indiana zero.